You're not always going to see everything eye to eye, granted. But it's not the arguments or the challenges that you go through. It's how you ha it's how you navigate through it. I don't never call faith out her name. As a matter of fact, I don't really get too, too. I'm learning better now not to get too, too defensive. Aaron, case in point. Last last year, did we have that breakthrough? I, I can I, I, I used to work for Microsoft <laughs> working, making good money a place that I shouldn't have been in the first place because God told me that your gift will make way for you. Stop chasing money. Mm. And when you operate in the fullness of your gift, it will make way for you. What do we do? Lord, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? That's not even you. you you're trying to be God now. You're trying to be God now. Just read your Bible. And God gave anybody instructions to do anything. Did they have to worry about what they were going to do? When he sent Moses to go free his people from Aaron, what? Did, did, Moses was like, I'm a stutterer. I can't. And look what happened. So don't front like, you see what, what some of you are, do, are doing. And this is the reason why I'm saying we call ourselves believers, but we don't really believe. You feel me? Because if you believed, you would get up and you would move and be like, God, when I get there, you, you, what needs to happen will happen. And this is the season that I'm moving into. And that's why I was telling Pershawn when we were on the phone, like, P, P, don't even worry about a thing. Who need to be there will be there. God will bless. I called her back and I was like, P, we need to get these assessments done. How can we get it done? Do you know she got called me back and said, don't worry about it. Such and such is going, it's going to be taken care of. I called Preach up and Preach was like, what? I say, yeah, preach. Let's get ready. We do not believe. And that's the reason why some of us are in the situations that we're in in our marriage, in our finances, parenting. And guess what? We're allowing all of those things to create a wedge between you and your loved one. When y'all first got together, there wasn't nothing that could separate the two of you. You be on the phone during the dating, Pastor, you know, the, during the dating time, y'all be on the phone. Uh, you hang up. No, you hang up. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> girl, no, you hang up. You hang up. No, you hang up, girl. You hang up. Right? There's certain nights you fall asleep on it. No, you hang up. <laughs> Other nights you talk your battery to dust. You talk so much on that dog on phone, you need to take it back into Verizon or Sprint and get you a new phone altogether. You done burnt it up. And something happened along the way called life. And now you're allowing situations to come in between you in ways that they've never come in between you before. So that's where it started. And I always come back and I look at this because I need a reminder. Yeah, boo, no joke, you was fine on that day. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. And I remember the things that were said. I remember what I said to her in my vows. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go back and watch the video again and I'm going to take them somewhere where they can print them out in calligraphy and frame it up nice and post it up somewhere in the house. So every time I walk by, I'm reminded. This is the reason why you need to keep family pictures all over the house. I'm telling you, we got drives with gigabytes full of pictures of our children. And I, why? Because I need not only to show, like for real, I, I come from divorce. My grandparents slept in separate rooms. My mother and my father got divorced. I came along, did the same thing, got divorced. The very thing that I didn't want to do because I was a, like, for real, I, I, I felt the damaging effects of it. I always felt that I didn't grow the way that I should have grown. Uh, my critical thinking was not what it should have been. Why? And sometimes I have to watch myself in raising the, uh, uh, my, uh, my, my younger one because he is so strong headed. That six year old. That Nico, Nico walk out the house. I don't need you to walk me to the bus stop. I got this. <laughs> and I'm like, the devil is a lie. You will walk with me to this bus stop. They snatching kids out here. Before you end up in some sex trade, boy, you better. And God said, be careful, son. I'm not telling you that you shouldn't father over him, but watch how you doing it. Here's the funny thing. And sometimes, yep, I don't want to take it from. 
I know she know what I'm saying. I, I, she know what I'm saying. <laughs> and I have to watch myself because when I get on the prayer line with the fellas, she's like, oh, you listen to them when they say it to you. But you don't. Babe, boo, stop saying mm-hmm. <laughs> but when I say it to you, and that's why God is saying to me, son, that stuff that you did last season is not going to work in this new season. I can't do what I want to do with you and for you if you don't change. If you wanted to be your best friend, it can't be just some cute thing that you're saying. You got to do it. And so now when, like for real, when my boy come on, yo, Q, word the mother, you need to do word? Mm-hmm. Preach come to me and be like, Quest, this is the way we need to word? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. It's done. How is it that you are doing that with them? Mm. Thanks, Doc. How is it that you're doing that with them before you're doing it with your, with your, the one that you claim to love for life, for better or for worse, in sickness and health, for richer or for poor? What's up, Key? Cody, good to see y'all, man. How is it that you're doing it that way? And I realize why we're doing what we're doing this evening in terms of the deep dive, because we need to know our behaviors. We need to know the way that we think. We need to know the situations that we're in. We need to know what our triggers are. We need to know when we're naturally being ourselves and when we're adapting to situations. We need to be constantly living life in a place of gratitude because that keeps you in a state of awareness. When I start, the, and you don't have to go back that far. Anything in the last 24 hours, God, I thank you for bringing me home safely. I saw those two accidents on the road. If it wasn't for your goodness, grace and mercy, it could have been me. I'd be more than a fool to think that it's some dashed lines that keep the car separate. Mercy. Talk about it. Pastor, I'd be a fool, a, a rabbit minded fool to think that it's just some dashed lines in the road that keep the car separated. Oh, it's nothing but the keeping grace of God that does that. And so, yeah, that's my reminder right there. I love that. Mm. <laughs> hey, I'm still trying to figure out. Boot, is, of course, that's you. That's you. Huh? I'm saying, man. It, I'm, it's me, ma. And I'm finding it hard to believe sometimes, I promise you. Because I used to be a dirty rascal. And more importantly, not only is it me, look who is with me. And every time I look at her, like for real, I'm not trying to blow my wife's head up. But every time I look at her, she is the prime indicator of how God loves me the way that he does. Yeah. 